Awesome. Okay, this will be my last call. Um, we're going to go ahead and go through kind of some housekeeping items uh, before I turn the time over to Nico. Thanks for people who are jumping in the comments, uh, letting us know where you're joining us from. Um, and today's agenda is uh, Nico from our team at CloudUp is going to be, he leads um, success and support for CloudUp. He'll be talking about uh, happiness scores versus customer satisfaction scores, uh, kind of our cloud app support story, the importance of a fast workflow and visual media, and how um, how cloud app the product itself has helped us do that. Some tips and tricks on that. Uh, we're also going to give everyone a takeaway, which is a, a happiness um, score template. Uh, it's just a Google sheet that will help you to calculate. Uh, happiness scores and kind of see the trend and um, bring those back into your business. Um, this recording and that template and also a video explanation of how to use that template will all be shared with you. So everyone should just be able to sit back and enjoy and we will share everything you need uh, from this later on. So thanks everyone for joining us. I'm going to turn the time over to Nico. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And Nico. Perfect. Can you guys good to go? All right, well, perfect. Thanks so much everyone for joining. Uh, like Joe said, my name is Nico. I am the customer success team lead at CloudApp. Uh, and as of December of last year, also the customer support team lead. So. We're super excited that you guys are here, that you joined us today. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn as well if you have any other questions after this uh, webinar. And then through the webinar, we have our team standing by. So Savannah, one of our, our customer success team members is also standing by, ready to answer any questions that you may have as I'm going through kind of our support history, what we needed to change to improve our happiness score. And we talk about happiness score as well. So feel free to send those questions in. We'll also have a QA and a at the end um, if we need to answer a couple of more questions, okay? So first of all, what is happiness score? A lot of you are probably more familiar with a CSAS score, uh, customer satisfaction. Um, when looking at a CSAS score in the support or the customer success world, you're really looking at positive responses over total responses. And then you're getting a percentage or a number from there. Um, what we're gonna be talking about today is what we uh, decided to kind of capture as our, as our review report in Cloud App, which is happiness score. Um, when looking at happiness score, we look at positive responses minus negative responses over to total responses, okay? And so for us, we feel like we get a more accurate number uh, when looking at also negative responses and seeing how we can improve from then moving forward. So if you ever see scores between 60, 70, 80 or more, usually those are happiness scores, and that's what we'll be talking about today. Um, on the right side of this slide here, I added uh, kind of what goes out to our customers when we're corresponding with them through support. After we respond to one of their questions, at the very bottom, they'll have a little survey and it's going to say, how would you rate the support you received today? And they can tell us if, if it was great, if it was okay or not very good. And then they can throw down some comments in there as well. Um, with my team on a weekly basis, we review this, these comments and we talk about how we can improve to make sure that we're always um, improving and supporting our customers in, 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 a, in a great way. Okay, so that's a little bit about happiness score there. We'll go to the next slide. Um, so as I told you earlier, I've been in Cloud for about a year and a half uh, now. Uh, first, I was the customer success team lead, and now I'm over all of customer experience. So around December of last year, I was uh, asked to, to take over the customer support team. We were having some uh, you know, a couple of issues there with the amount of time that it was taking for us to get back to our customers, also our happiness score, which is decreasing. So um, the first thing that, you know, I noticed when I stepped and started helping the team is that, you know, every single day our team members were going home and there were a lot of tickets left over. So a lot of our customers were waiting three, four, sometimes five days to receive a response from our team, which in the tech world is not acceptable. You know, people have issues and they need an answer right away. Because they were waiting so long for us to, you know, get back to them, answer their tickets, um, that was also decreasing our happiness score. This is an actual score from June of last year. Uh, we were around 56. Um, and we'll talk about how we were able to improve that in the last few months uh, with some of our new processes. So yes, people were waiting a long time to receive a response. Our team was being overworked um, and our happiness score was, was really, you know, hurting and we needed to improve that as well. So. That's how I found the team when I first started managing it. 
So what I did is, you know, I took a deep dive into why is this happening? How can we improve? Do we need more people or do we maybe, are we maybe lacking in our, in our process in the support team? So these are the things that I found. And then we'll talk about what we did on our side to improve them. So the first thing that I found is when I jumped into the support queue, we didn't have a lot of templated responses. Um, if you're in support every single day, you know the templated responses are a lifesaver. Being able to just reach out to a customer really quickly in a couple of seconds, pick a templated response and send that out, um, you know, it, it just speeds up our process overall in support. Now, if you're familiar with Cloud App, Cloud App is a video sharing tool. So we can share, create GIFs, create videos, annotate on those videos, and also create screenshots and share that with our customer in a really simple way. So the other thing that I noticed that we weren't using is we weren't using our own tool as much as I would have liked to see in the support and customer success team using the tool. So um, no videos, no GIFs in any of our correspondence with customers. And what this was doing, it was making it so that we weren't very personable with our customers. So they were writing text to us, we were writing text back and forth. They never really got to know us. Um, and so one thing that video did for us when we started using it is, you know, we become more personal. We become a real human being, someone really trying to help them with a smiling face and someone who cares about their issues. Okay. And then the last thing that we didn't have very well, or we didn't build very well is a knowledge base. So our health center article needed some major improvement. Um, also it was lacking uh, videos and gifts. And so those are some of the, the, the issues, the key issues that we found when we were looking into the data and to see how we can improve. Okay. So uh, let me talk to you a little bit about our process for improvement. What are some of the steps we took and, and how this helped us as well uh, in improving our happiness score? So the first thing is we wanted to create more templated responses, uh, spe specifically for commonly asked questions, right? Um, if you're in support, you'll know that there are days where you get the exact same question over 40 times. And our team was typing those over and over again, instead of just creating a template. Um, also, I made sure that every single one of those templates that we created included a video or a GIF from Cloud App. I wanted customers to get used to seeing our faces to become more personable and in the hopes of helping improve our happiness score, okay? This is just a small example of what those templated responses look on our side. We use Help Scout for our support queue, but most of uh, you know help centers or uh, support websites are, are the same. Um, so in this template here, you can see we have two videos from our team members. And then at the bottom, we have a link to our help center page because we always wanna be teaching customers that they don't always have to reach out to support. There are a lot of answers that can be found on our help center. The next thing we did is we wanted to get our team comfortable showing their faces. This is a learning curve, right? Uh, you know, we're, we're really comfortable, especially a lot of us coming out of, you know, COVID and, qu and quarantine. Uh, we, we get really comfortable not being around people. And so this, this was a learning curve, but we didn't just want to send out videos with annotations, which are still really helpful, but we wanted people to get used to seeing our faces. In a second, I'll show you uh, a live training on how we create videos, but I just wanted to add a quick gif of our, our beautiful team here, some of our team members. And so when people see that face, when they see people trying to help them, it really just changes the whole the whole mood and we're able to better communicate with our customers, okay? Uh, the next thing we did is we wanted to up our help center page. There was a lot of text, there was a lot of information in our help center page, but not enough videos or GIFs or content showing customers how to get somewhere. So we started using our tool, we added videos to our help center page. If you are ever around our help center page now, almost every single page has a video, a GIF, or a how-to on, on how to get a solution to those problems that you may be facing while using Cloud App, okay? Next, um, we talked a little bit about this. We wanted to just get more videos, more GIFs out there on our knowledge base. So something that Cloud App have, has that is really useful is we have something called collections. As a support team, we collaborate inside of collections. So for example, if one of my team members creates a video responding to a customer's uh, issue or question, and if we're seeing that we're getting that question a lot of times, we are going to create one generic video instead of you know me directing myself to the customer and saying, hey, Nico, this is how you fix this issue. I would say, hey, thanks for reaching out. Let me show you how to fix this issue. So it's generic and we can use over and over again. So we created collections where all of our team members started adding their own videos that they were creating into. So this speeds up our time and support because instead of me having to create a video every single time, I can just go pull one of those videos that my team members created add it into the ticket, send it out, and it takes a couple of seconds for us to answer tickets, okay? 
And so this is what our collections look like. Just to give you an idea on our website, we have a ton of different videos. Currently our support collection has over 90 videos, I think. They're all titled in a way that we can quickly find them, send out to customers, um, and then they can find solutions to their problems there. Okay. I'll show you a little bit more about Cloud App in, in just a second. Um, the next thing we did is we wanted to include uh, some extra steps. So in every single one of our responses to our customers, we wanted to give guidance to, to our customers on, hey, you know, if this didn't answer your question, we do have some extra links that you can click on that will take you to our help center page. So this helps us so that if we didn't, you know, answer the first question, they can see some other articles that might be able to answer that question for them. And again, this is training the customer to always go back into our help center page so that they can learn that we have a lot of responses in there and they don't always have to reach out to support. Even though we do love them, we want to talk to them, but you know that frees up some of our support time um, so that we can focus on those bigger tickets or bigger issues that may arise through, through the week. Okay, now the last thing we did was setting massive goals, you know, goals that were really, really scary. And we didn't know if we were going to achieve. As I told you earlier, it was taking us three, four, five days to get back to some of our customers. And when I first stepped in, I said, okay, I want us to get back to customers, at least the first response, letting them know that we got their, their ticket and we're working on that issue in less than two hours. When I presented this number, you know, people were like, it's, it's crazy, we can't do it. Right now we have 150 tickets on the queue. There's no way that we can get to it. But I, I believe that once we get to zero, and if we just restart every single day with the same amount of people that we had before, we can keep taking care of customers in, in, a, in a fast way and get back to them quickly so that that could help increase our happiness score. So these are the steps that we took in order to improve. We started using a lot more videos, created template responses, uh, we're speeding up our time by, by setting massive goals. And now I wanna show you some of the results we saw on our site, okay? So the first thing that we saw is within a couple of weeks, our response time was down to an hour. Currently about 98% of our customers are receiving a response in one to two hours. So if you've ever had the privilege to communicate with our support team, you've probably seen this in the last few weeks that they're really fast at getting back to you. And the reason that is, is because we have templates, we have videos that are pre-built. We can just quickly grab them, send it out to the customer. And they're really awesome videos, really personable. And people are just really happy with the responses there. Um, we made a goal to, to get zero tickets at the end of each day. So we didn't wanna go home until we zero out the queue. Now getting to zero first was the, the big step. And then every single day after that, it's really simple to get to zero. We usually get between 50 to 60 tickets and we have a, a team of three in the support team right now. So um, again, because we have so many pre-created material, it's really simple for them um, to just quickly respond, uh, respond to those tickets. Um, and then as a result of all of these things being fast, uh, you know, zeroing out the queue every day, using more video and templates, uh, we've had now multiple weeks where our happiness score, the reviews from our customers are perfect. So 100%, every single time that we, uh, you know, talk to someone yeah, and they give us a review, they're super happy. Um, and we've had weeks over weeks where our score is um, 100. Um, looking at it on a monthly basis, our score is always over 80 now. And then last quarter, we ended up at 82. This quarter, we're around 84, which if you are familiar with the support world, anything between 80 and 100 is world class. Not many teams are, you know, between 90 and 100, but anything over 80 is really good. Um, and so again, we went from last year having a happiness score of, you know, 56, 60s and a response time of three to four days. We, we took that down to one hour by using video, by being more personable and in, increase our happiness score um, over 80% on a quarter to quarter basis. Um, I wanted to add here at the bottom, just a couple of uh, real reviews from our customers. Um, you'll notice, and, and this is what we're noticing on our side, they all mention how fast our team is how it's just excellent customer service because of those videos we're creating for them. Incredibly fast. Uh, thanks for the quick reply. And so these are the kind of reviews that we're getting. They're always mentioning our team members and letting us know that we're taking care of them in a good way and also uh, fairly quickly as well, uh, which is what we were able to do by incorporating videos, templates, and just setting massive goals to help us get there, okay? So what I want to do next is I actually want to show you really quickly how we create these videos. I want to show you a real life scenario of 
you know, how I would answer one of these tickets for, for one of our customers. So let me just switch screens here for a second and I'm gonna go into our queue. I'm gonna show you exactly how we do this. And here we have a ticket here. You can see that our queue is really small because again, our team is always on top of it. Uh, and we're always answering those videos. Uh, sorry, we're always answering those questions with videos. So here I received a, a, a ticket from, um, from one of our customers. Um, and the question they have is, uh, I noticed my content keeps disappearing from cloud apps. So it's a kind of a troubleshooting uh, ticket, you know, maybe a little bit more into settings. So just by reading this, I know exactly maybe what the issue they have is, we have a setting that deletes your videos automatically after a certain amount of time or your content. Um, so they probably have that setting turned on. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we do this with cloud app, okay? So I'm gonna go to my cloud app cloud and I'm gonna start recording. Now, when recording with cloud app, I always have my camera turned on. I could turn it off if I want, I want to, but a rule in our support team is that we're always showing our faces. So you can see my face there at the bottom. I'm gonna start recording and this is gonna give me a countdown. It's just gonna give me three, two, one, helping me get ready to answer this ticket, okay? So, hey, Courtney, thanks so much for reaching out to us. I apologize you're experiencing this issue. Let me see if I can help you fix it. So first of all, um, if you go into our website, you log into your profile on the top right side, uh, if you uh, click on your name, underneath your name, you'll find settings, okay? Inside of settings, uh, you will find a section on the left side of settings, and I'll just wait for that to refresh. Let's give it a couple of seconds. On the left side of settings, you'll find a section named files. Underneath files there on the left side, if you click on files, um, you'll be able to access an area where you'll be able to decide if files should be deleted and every how often should files be deleted. And so here at the very bottom, you'll notice this file retention section. I currently have it on never because I want to keep my content forever. But if you want to extend that to maybe more than a month, six months, you can do that as well. Or if you click on never, this will make it so that your files never expire. Okay. I'll also send you a quick help center article with this video on the response so that you can learn a little bit more about file retention. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out uh, to me uh, and let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. Have a great day. Okay, so I just finished that video, took a couple of seconds. This is a, you know, a kind of a customized video specifically to a customer. Now, again, if we were getting this issue a lot, I would tell my team that instead of you know responding back to Corny in this scenario, they would just create a generic uh, answer, and they would say something like, uh, "Hey, thanks for reaching out. I'm sorry you're experiencing this issue. Um, here's my video. It's ready for me to use. In Cloud App, I can actually trim or cut before I send it out, or I can add some annotations if I want to. But I actually like that video. I'm going to send it out as it is. So I'm just going to click Share, and this is going to copy a link for me. So now what I can do is I can go back to this support ticket. I'm gonna start replying to this customer. And I'm gonna say, hello, Courtney. Thanks for reaching out. And we apologize for experiencing this issue. Here is how to fix it. Okay, so I can just command V on my computer and I have the cloud app link ready to go there, right? Additionally, I'm just gonna add a help center article. So I'm just gonna say, uh, you can find out more about file retention through our help center page. So I'm gonna go to our help center page, which we do have some gifts in there from our team already that were created. So I'm gonna grab that link, go back, and I can paste it in here or I can you know, hyperlink one of my words if I want to. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so there's my ticket. Took me a couple of seconds. It's ready to go out. I have a video there, making it personable. I am also I'm also guiding them to our help center page, uh, making sure that they know in the future that if they do have any other questions, just training that customer. Hey, check out our help center page first before reaching out to us. Okay, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and send reply there, and I'm done with that one ticket. Okay, so really, really simple. Um, takes a couple of seconds. And again, I incorporated all of those steps that we talked about um, during, during my presentation today. Um, and I did all of that with, with Cloud App and using our tool. Just how I created that video, I could have done a GIF if I wanted to and annotate through the GIF. Or if sometimes you just need a screenshot and you need to point something out, for example, I can take a screenshot of that settings page and just point out the file retention. And then I can have some text around it as well. Um, so really, really simple to use there, okay? 
Um, Joe, I don't know if we have any questions up to this point on your side, anything that um, you want to make sure that I touch on before we go to the next section? Um, we've been kind of answering some things. Uh, I don't think we have any questions that haven't been answered. So yeah, I think you're good to keep going. This is really awesome. great. Awesome, awesome. Thanks, guys. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this template. For attending this webinar, we want to show our appreciation and we created this template for you. What we did is uh, we went ahead and we looked at all the other best practices that some of the top support teams in the tech world are currently uh, doing right now. Uh, we looked at some of their numbers, where they match up with us, and we created this template for you where you can go into your support tool and uh, pull out some of this data. For example, your happiness score in the last seven days, your happiness score in the last 30 days. Um, this template will have instructions when it goes out to you. So you'll be able to know exactly how to use it, but it's really, really simple to use. Once you get those numbers and you enter them into this template, it's gonna tell you how you match up with other teams and also some areas of improvement. So it's gonna tell you if your customer happiness score is trending up or down, um, and also what are some support executions or areas that you might need to improve when comparing yourself to other support teams um, in the tech world. And this is just you know simply saying, thanks for joining us. Uh, we did all the research for you um, to, to give you access to this and in the hopes that also you can continue to improve your happiness score and find new ways of supporting your customers um, and making your customers happy, which at the end of the day, that's what customer support and customer success is all about, making your customers successful, happy, and being able to help them continue to use your tool and show them more value in that way. So that's really all that I wanted to share on my side. Um, I'm not sure if there are any other uh, questions. If there are, feel free to reach out to me, uh, you know, connect on LinkedIn. Uh, also send me, send me an email. My email is nico at cl.ly. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions, collaborate and get to know all of you a little bit more. So again, thanks so much for joining. Uh, Joe, I'll, I'll send it back to you. Awesome, Nico, that was really great. Thanks for kind of going through this. Um, everyone, thank you all for attending. Uh, if you're current cloud up customers or, or you know, hopefully some people learned uh, some of the functionality of the product as well. Um, we'd all love to have you, have all of you be a part of our community. Um, we will be sending out this recording to everyone that was able to attend live and also people who weren't, as well as the template and a video of how to kind of implement the ten template. So uh, check out those in your email. They'll also be on, available on our website um, and on YouTube on our YouTube page if, if for some reason it doesn't get to your email. But look for that in the next few days. And thanks again, Nico, and everyone that was able to attend. Thanks, guys. We'll see ya. See ya.